academic writing is difficult, but just because something is difficult, that doesn't mean you have to suffer. And the challenge of writing can actually be quite enjoyable if you approach it in the right way. Now, one of the reasons why academic writing is so difficult is because it's a combination of many different types of problem solving at the same time. So you have to think about the big picture and your overall argument, while at the same time thinking about how that fits into the broader academic and real world contexts, while also choosing and incorporating relevant references, while also sorting out your own ideas and figuring out how to lead the reader from one point to the next, while also considering word choice and sentence structure and trying to express yourself clearly. So what I would like to do in the next few videos is start to break down the writing process into different skills to deal with some of these problems. And the first skill, which I think is a good foundation, not just for writing, but for any creative or problem solving act is calm focus. We don't want to write in a panic. We don't want to be so afraid of a blank page that we just have to vomit words out. It's much better to slow down, take our time and give ourselves a chance to think and engage with the different problems that we face. Now, when you spend time with your own thoughts, you might feel some discomfort or anxiety, or you might find your head filled with a million different ideas, all competing for your attention. But that's not a good reason to go as fast as you can. It's a good reason to try to slow down, to breathe, and try to calm yourself. You need to get comfortable sitting with and observing your thoughts. And if you're not sure what to do, you need to be patient and trust that you'll be able to figure it out. Now, the most important first step to help with this is to block the internet. Otherwise, it's far too easy to just find yourself online as a way of coping with the discomfort. So when I'm writing or thinking through a problem, I use a program called Cold Turkey to block browsers, and I use an application called Freedom to block other apps and websites on my phone. So I simply remove the option so it doesn't require any willpower to stop myself going online. But even if I've blocked distractions, I still find it often takes a little time, maybe 15 to 20 minutes, for my brain to settle. So I'm patient with myself and just try to stay with it instead of rushing or um, switching to work on something else. So it's okay if I'm not getting words down. It's even okay if my mind wanders as long as I'm not doing anything else and I keep bringing my attention back to the task. So meditation is a great way to help develop this skill. And it's something I'd recommend for general stress reduction anyway. Now I know that this goes against what everyone else says, but for me, it's fundamental. You've got to be able to slow down and calmly engage with and think through the challenges you face in your writing. It is difficult sometimes really difficult, but the satisfaction of writing, the joy of writing, comes from finding solutions to these difficult problems. And it's through these moments of difficulty that you improve your skills and you develop your confidence as a writer. Now, when I talk about slowing down, people often raise the issue of perfectionism, which I'll address in the next video. But if you like this one, please do give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also head to my website at phd.academy for more details on the work I do, including one-to-one -one coaching, 
my upcoming writing course, uh, talks and workshops at universities, and my book. Also, be sure to sign up for email updates so I can let you know when I publish new videos. So that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.